well, I got to throw You're it back again. Do it. Do it. Do it. Hey, shoot you miss. Yeah, and so I was like, bink, bink, and I just like kept doing it, and it kept bouncing back to me. And Why I, didn't he move? I, don't, I think he did. That's the thing. I had precision. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Nerd Social Hour in Texas. I'm Justin. Today, as you can tell by everybody's beautiful attire, we're going to talk about sports. But, of course, I'm not alone. I can't do this by myself. I need a team, as you know, per se. So, yeah, I'm Perkins, and I know absolutely nothing about the sports. <laughs> oh, hey, guys. It's Fabian here, the comic guy, number four. Oh, my God. Are you comic <laughs> guy number four? Yeah, We should four. do introductions like, like those three NFL. other ones. I don't lose weight. Dun, 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 dun. You got to cross your eyes when you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Martinez, nerd so slower. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Munoz, I like poopy. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm Crystal. <laughs> I'm Alex. Comic uh, universe. I already said my name, nerd so slower. <laughs> oh my god! Was it Key and Pole that does it? What is yeah, Key and Pole. Dingle McCringleberry yeah. and shit. <laughs> like when they throw in like the dolphin noises. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, San Francisco. <laughs> I'm really excited about about this one because I'm, I'm a sports fan. I like everything accompanying from movies to the actual sports all the way to anime. I feel like sports has always been like this is gonna sound like a really weird comparison. It's almost superhero esque in the fact that you're watching people do things that you know you can't accomplish stuff. I think that's fair. Um, what made you think about superheroes? No, that, it wasn't Booster Cold. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I mean, I feel like yeah, it's just sports are it's it's fun all the way from like even like pro wrestling and sports entertainers oh, to snap. like high school, you know, Friday Night Lights being in Texas. You know, football was very you know ingrained and it was quick. And growing up playing pee wee baseball, stuff like that. It sports are everywhere. Damn pee wee baseball. Yeah, man. I, the Cubs. I was an awful first baseman, but I tried my damnedest. I played for the Indians and the Orioles. I only remember the Cubs because I have like a button with me like <laughs> holding a bat. Oh, yeah. I can't remember my team name, but I know that the colors are yellow and red. <laughs> Actually, yeah, did what? What uh, oh, did shit. any of you did y'all play sports growing up? Yeah. <laughs> I was on the <laughs> Troy Trojan football team. Not really. I was there. I was there. Could not play good at all. So I was not <laughs> in any of those That's why games. you're not a sports fan because you suck at them. No, oh, I was I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, fan. I played <laughs> football in middle school. I had like a lot of really weird like health problems though. So in the ninth grade, I took like a really hard hit. I had a concussion. Oh, so, yeah. And they were like, "Hey, man, you probably shouldn't play anymore." Considering I had like a blood clot and an abscess in the back right part Bruh. of my brain yeah. when I was in sixth grade. And yeah. they're like, "Yeah, we're not actually sure what happened to those. They could be there. It could, you know, you take a wrong hit, you could die." Uh, like, casual. <laughs> so I filmed them for yeah. the rest of high school. Yeah. Was that like the school nurse telling you like, "Ah, just." put ice on it <laughs> no man i i won't so it was like this drill where one person has a ball over their head and the other person doesn't you stand up and the guy yeah. with the ball tries to run past the other one i dropped the ball so i went down to pick it up and a guy just like pushed my skull in god oh damn god. he literally yeah. dropped the ball in that I, one yeah. <laughs> i woke up in the trainer's office my mom was already there oh i had no man. idea what the fuck happened Shit. yeah it was awful that's crazy sports did you play oh well you know i, I can't really... wait for this one back in italy on the countryside <laughs> Uh, you know that guy Good Tony ball. Romo, right? <laughs> no, I I really when I was growing up, like my dad was shipping me hardcore to be like a football player. <laughs> like, I bet it's he's funny. proud now. We would so we would do the casual dad and son thing, like let's go play ball in the backyard, son. And I'd go back, I'd put on my Cowboys helmet, which I still got, <laughs> you know. And I'd just be like, where the fucking? Why isn't that what? here? Yeah, he set that out. Uh, it's pretty chewed up. Oh my god, fair enough. Yeah. But you skateboard, and I would yeah, I would say that that's a sport now. Funny, I wanted to talk yeah. a little about like what we yeah. constitute, like what's included and not included. Yeah, skateboarding so. counts. If there's an yeah. Olympic sport for it, it's a sport. Yeah, I don't okay. even know if it has to be an Olympic sport. I'd give food, or I don't know what sport I was going to say. Never. Mind. <laughs> I was going to say it's in the Olympics. <laughs> uh, I was going to say ping pong. <laughs> it's in the Olympics. Bodybuilding, maybe. Who's ball? Body, that's beer definitely. Pong. Pong. You have to be athletic to do that. That's a sport. Which one? Bodybuilding. Body oh, oh yeah, yeah. that's yeah. definitely Absolutely. a sport. Whoop, whoop, I got one in here. <laughs> you <laughs> are <laughs> sports. Yeah. Yep. Did you play strong man? I did basketball in middle school. Nice. Dumped on them hoes. Let's talk Fucking about it, Perkins. You're probably basketball. you're probably the most decorated athlete at this table. Literally, oh, like, like not even probably. Like you. Yeah. 
All your you besides and everything Crystal, yeah. who decorated. Was, coach was Carter. Coach Carter. <laughs> <laughs> So you, you played, played you played basketball. That was the only. Yeah, I just played basketball. I mean, other than like playing football, like outside with my brothers and shit. Yeah. But yeah, for the most part, it was we. I mean, they were very big on football, but my dad was big on football. Because we're so. in Texas. Yeah. yeah. Anybody yeah. do track by any chance? I did. Anybody I do track. track or cross country? Track was I did the track. only thing I was good at. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I was in baseball in high school. There you go. It sucked because they would always hit me, and like my coach would get so mad. He would get so mad. He's like, "Move out the way!" <laughs> I, would, I would jump into the way of the ball, mm. and he's like, "Oh my fucking god!" This kid. <laughs> and I would get the base still, but I'd have like a huge bruise on my ass like every time I went home. What did you do in track? I was mostly a long distance person in track. Yeah. Um, See. The shortest distance I did was like the. 800 relay, so I would run. Dear God. I was not a runner. I did I the Dude. mile I relay, so I did the full 400 and like would run the two miles. And I did cross country. Cross country was my shit. <laughs> Dude, cross country. I did like short distances. Rough, so it was yeah, like the 40 meter dash it, or something like that. Yeah. Like you just burn off. As yeah. as you I oh. wish I had done sprints like, in retrospect. Yeah. You remember uh, like hurdles? Hurdles. <laughs> Dude, no, check this out. I was <laughs> extremely good. Speed wise, and I would win the races, but I would not do them the correct way. You know how they would say, "Lift the leg up and keep running." No, 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 no. <laughs> My man just—I like, would jump, did ass, like regular jump, jump the fuck over him, and I'd still be like, <laughs> <He's> <laughs> <running>. <laughs> "I still win it." I'm like, "That's not how you hurdle," but I mean, you would, but no. <laughs> That's, but, but that's we won. my thing. That's like, smart. why would why would they be like that's not the right way? But you won, so that's the right way, right? Yeah. yeah. Look at Happy Gilmore. Her, I would Gilmore. be so scared on the other side, like seeing you run at me, like, oh my god, yeah, dude, <laughs> I would run like a robot. So my hands would be like this. Oh my Everyone god. Everyone has this shit. I'd be like this. <laughs> but fast as like Terminator run. I want to double down on that being terrifying. Like yeah. if I ever saw you running at me like that, I would curl up immediately. I was always impressed by people who could do like hurdles. Like that yeah. was always like one of my favorite things to watch is when they did hurdles because it's something I it is pretty impressive. I can't do hurdles like, even if yeah. I'm just. But they always seem like they're trying. still so I can't close. Even climb so, like, over how did them. you manage to make it over, but then still get back up enough to like by make jumping it over the, the fuck next over? Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Always too close to me. So. Like a Mario game. Impressed. Yeah, right. That's exactly. Like, 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 <laughs> <laughs> did you play? Didn't you play basketball? So I played like every sport pretty much. Um, like in was not good at any of them. I do um, that on a personal level. Except for <laughs> maybe God. like track, I was fairly decent at like track. But yeah, I there was even a point where like I think it was like senior year because in Holland where I went like every senior is varsity no matter what like you you're varsity so <laughs> they have people, no option yeah. <laughs> there's they not enough bodies. people I was like I'm on varsity <laughs> I just like sat on the bench the whole time and I would always get so pissed because they would put me in at the last like minute and i'd be like just let me sit on the bench like, they're like they're winning by like just don't like 40 put me points out there. like i'm fine here you know i just want to say i was here yeah like i, I just i'm wearing the the cool like outfit and that's good for me like, i think about the golden years when we were all on a kickball team yeah. oh yeah we yeah. did play kickball that's, yeah. that was that was good Man, i want to do that yeah it was really. We should do that. We, we should. I've been back. wanting to do that again. Yeah, that was fun. It was, it was a lot really of fun. Super down. Shout out um, to kickball. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever so, get to play dodgeball? Oh fuck, I dude! I was. Then. I actually oh, was in a league. What the fuck? Got to be in a <laughs> league. I, I was good. Troy, like no, it would get no serious to the point where like, if there was two people left, it would get fucking quiet while you were playing because it's a country ass town. Troy, back yeah. in the day. Yeah. Hey, little. Oh, I can't say that word here. But that, you know, <laughs> that, that Troy was on some different shit back when I was going there. But dodgeball, dodgeball, it would get serious because if you had someone you didn't like on another team, mm -mm. yeah, let's go. Smack the hell oh, out no. of him with the and ball. What did y'all use for balls? We use rubber balls. The rubber, dude. yeah. Those used for balls. Yes. Rubber fucking balls. And you balls. can still smell those, those bad babies. Those were yeah. the days you were looking forward to gym class. Like, yeah, I'm oh, going to play fuck that ball. guy up. You catch those balls and didn't look at them. I'm gonna, I'd look at everybody. <laughs> well, like, run that ball, back. Catch. Catch those balls and didn't look at them. I'm going to look at it. Yeah, you're my bitch now. <laughs> Get off the court. You know, like, that was scary. He was looking at me, guys. I thought you were the hardest shit in the world.
I feel like it's absolutely necessary to preface this by the fact that you're talking about like I ran like a robot and I throw balls like a man. <laughs> this man also Naruto ran through the hallway <laughs> crying. Let's go back to that. So episode. I just need to make sure that we talk about the fact that he is a uh, he's not he, he's a liar. He, he didn't do <laughs> not any a liar. Shit. I, dodgeball. I was good at dodgeball. He's Fuck good, you. Good, 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 at, handles, good at handling. Perkins would have that anime moment in his head. How did he catch that? <laughs> <laughs> I perfectly executed it. The angle was correct in my mind <laughs> in holland we use rolled up socks with like athletic tape on it what for, what? for dodgeball what? So, training yeah. y'all to be serial killers oh my God. I see. no i dodged the hell out of that yeah. like, they threw your goes, dirty underwear at me. Like, <laughs> some people like they're small and compact yeah <laughs> so they fucking hurt. and you could grip the shit out <laughs> for of the dodgeball yeah. for dodgeball yeah, yeah they were definitely like, take y'all there to was the more emphasis the on the dodge part yeah. than yeah. the ball and, part and that was in the years where it was like the whole class is doing it like yeah like oh, before God. like junior high school give me k through 12 i want to be a so, senior just exactly. fucking up yeah. kindergartners <laughs> it's, it's co-ed it's yeah. all the boys with anger issues oh, oh yeah. lord and like ugh, that, it, that i'm so happy you brought that back up though because when you were like what did y'all use in my brain? I was like a fucking dodgeball. What I was, yeah. yeah, I was like, they what? Had those like, um, what are they called? Like the styrofoam ones? The little they were, like, foamy, yeah. the foam yeah. ones. Yeah. Yeah. They started using those for a while because kids I could were getting still, injured I with could the rubber still balls. So, hit the shit because I would yeah. grip it hard. I would grip it harder. <laughs> Danny can throw a Dude, mean ball. I was good at dodgeball because, like, I <laughs> no, I was like Neo in the Matrix when I played. Like, I was doing some crazy shit. I was doing stuff where, like, we we're this close to each other and dodging stuff. Backflip. And then I, I had this technique that I would do, Laura. Like, I would hold a ball and uh, just testing your reflexes. Well, <laughs> well, I knew I knew it was coming, but uh, I, knew I it didn't. Was yeah. <laughs> 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 but no so like you know how uh people would throw it at me and you know how people would just like block it i would do that a few times so that they would expect it but then like when they throw it i drop mine and i catch theirs oh, man it's yeah. giving us dodgeball technique dodgeball yeah. dip duck dodge dip do <laughs> drool <and> dodge <laughs> attaches a five, the five d d's <laughs> of dodgeball are you okay dude i just realized i actually played a lot of sports growing up what else did you do i played baseball yeah. um i played hockey i was the goalie and my team was undefeated which was awesome dude. like it, it felt really good because what well, for for First of all, flex. They couldn't yeah. score on me. Like no one could score on me. There was, I was this... about to ask how much of that was him, and he's like, "Yeah." So first of all, no I did get I did you. get scored on a few times, but like there was not meant. Like I think we also had good forwards, so they were like scoring enough points to where like if one person scored on me, it was whatever. Mm -hmm. But there was a guy that we nicknamed him the Big Show. I swear this dude was not <laughs> in the age group that he was supposed to be playing. Like, this dude should have been in the minor leagues or something. This dude was fucking huge. I mean, his nickname was Big Show. He was like fucking 42. Dude, just yeah. crisis. He just wanted that win. We're on know? like fifth and sixth grade. This dude has a full beard and's like oh, tattoos. Man. No oh, teeth because he's hilarious. been playing hockey for far too long in Russia. But <laughs> um, he had like, like that movie Bench Warmers, yeah. right? Yeah. With the guy who's like, I'm 12. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's a note that said it or yeah, some shit. Have y'all seen this recently? It's this 12 year old. Or he, oh, I think yeah. he's 12. He blew up. He's a, like a Texas football player. Mm -hmm. But the picture that blew up of him had like, he had like tattoos oh, and a mustache yeah. or some shit. And what? people, <laughs> apparently, like the tattoos may have been fake. And he was really had a mustache though. But he's like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I had a mustache when I was like, he's like and... a fucking football prospect for being also, 12, um, but like fucking looking yeah. like a grown ass. Well, that's like man. The Rock. The Rock yeah. was like that. The Rock was yeah. like 12 years huge, old, like dude. massive. You had genetics uh, on genetics. I forget where he's from, but the kid that blew up with the memes. Um, oh, the the oh, the, the Terio, or the, it was a fake Terio. They, they Popeyes like, kid, yeah, the yeah. Popeyes kid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's monetizing that yeah. meme now because he plays football and they went yeah. fucking. He got a yeah. full on scholarship and everything. Fucking good great. for him. Good. Yeah. Yeah. We awesome. love those stories. So after hockey, I went to football, and I was not that good at football. I also played basketball on the team, and I was I was only kind of good, and I was only on the a team because i was tall like i hit my growth spurt a little early and i would hit a few layups 
because no one like everyone was still short at the time and then in high school everyone was like i was like i can't play basketball anymore. Yeah, like, I gotta go. <laughs> there's no way and then i was i quit football in high school because uh and i did it so dumb i, I, I quit did so dumb. i did I, so in football before school even starts you do two a days oh. it's the hardest fucking workouts you can do yeah conditioning yeah conditioning just like everything i did all that and then ninth grade started and i was like i had to choose between theater and i had and football because a lot of the times high school musical yeah so yeah and then literally <laughs> i was funny that the first fucking sports movie we bring up so is high school ready. musical <laughs> oh yeah you're right what? but he did mention we were I, we were going over um about like movies and stuff that were all related and i realized i was saying a lot of like disney channel ones and he was like i mean high school musical right now he's like i don't I mean, know i don't think i've ever yeah I know. I was like, like I mean, a whole basketball dance number it reflected yeah. my life and yeah. i didn't even know it it yeah. could almost be argued that theater is a sport i'm not doing that <laughs> no no it was actually troy <laughs> <laughs> i almost was i was in high school story. musical there was a theater production yeah. of it and i was almost troy it's funny you do that though because we were talking in the car and it was like well kid i was like i don't want to go down this road where everything's a sport because we can slightly <laughs> argue it oh because i said because we, we, i said Aquila we do and this the B, so and he was often. like no i was like yeah. it's an academic sport. like spelling bee i was like no spelling is <laughs> no. not a fucking sport what about no. wait what about marching band no 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 you have but I'm like fucking athletic. I'm not saying oh, I'm, I'm not saying you don't have to be physically fit to do it, but it's not a sport. Until they add, it. until they add <laughs> back. Counted as a PE credit. Yeah, what? Band it counted as a PE credit if you did because it was physical exercise. Yeah, all physical so exercises are sports. Period. Let's make it a sport. It doesn't you make it a sport. It. I said no, all physical doesn't. exercises you know, aren't sports. Honestly, oh, though, know. Justin, there's a lot of dumb ones in the Olympics. Oh no, don't get me wrong. There are definitely some sports. I'm like, why is that a fucking sport? Yeah, they should not be like Olympics at that. Like you guys are doing that you're getting paid for that according to oxford dictionary <laughs> marching band would qualify as a sport i mean you could hey, qualify as one but not me hey. you're saying <laughs> if you do competition it's a team think it says a sport is defined by the oxford dictionary as an activity involving physical exertion and skill in which an individual or a team competes against others for entertainment hey you just looked yeah. up the definition of sport yeah. you're trying to play no i'm not no I'm this not says that with shit. that in mind marching band does qualify as a sport i just don't buy it i'm reading i mean you could oxford it, it, you could also say said that. goblin mode Verified. was year, word of the year last year <laughs> <laughs> goblin mode word of the year oh my god just, okay here's another response that's opposite it says while well, marching band is more of a performing art because I, it involves the playing of an instrument sports includes an exclusively involved physical exertion while marching band is more of a performing art because it involves playing of an instrument that relates artistic expression this says marching right band involves one. aerobic activity what do I'm you guys think leave i it, will say leave yeah. it in our notes let's leave it in the middle in the neutral ground <laughs> Send us a DM. What the hell's a sport? I, 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 am, I am by no means attempting to take away from like the physical exertion and having to be, because I guarantee you, I couldn't do it. I'm not physically fit enough to even be in a marching band. I did. I was in marching band in middle school. But it was fucking hard. I, I feel mm. like it's, and for me, and I, I don't know, maybe I have a skewed way of looking at it. It's, um, if, I would be insulted as a professional athlete if I were being like fucking Shirley Q over here playing the flute <laughs> is being told that she's just as much of a competitive athlete as well, fucking no, running back I'm in the NFL. I'm going to disagree with that. I, I, I mean, am you can. And I'm okay with that. There's an Olympic sport for... We were talking shuffleboarding. about shuffleboarding, oh, no, ping pong, I, I, shuffleboarding, and like ping pong, ping pong. Ping pong. Those are considered Hell, sports. I'm absolutely saying sprinting. some of those sports are kind of stupid. <laughs> they are, but they're sports. Marching yeah. band is a sport. Well, when marching band in the Olympics, I'll change my mind. Mar Maybe they do. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do. An by that definition, there. put there it in the Olympics palm. and I'll change oh, my it's mind. It's fucking good, too. It's so that I'm putting up drumline. <laughs> oh, yeah. As a sports movie. I was going to say, it's you're telling me my I boy Nick Cannon. I was doing it so you couldn't do I that. fucking love drumline. <laughs> it is a good movie. But, yeah, so I, I'm going to, I'm leaning on that it's not a sport. Although I can't take away the fact that it's very Physically like demanding. physically demanding. 100%. You know? yeah. There are so many physical demanding things that just because they're physically demanding, I don't think should be a sport. I do like the performing arts aspect of it. It's yeah. a competitive athletic activity. I mean, by that definition, theater also, they go act. It's competitive, but it's, it's not still athletic not a, activity, though. I mean, I can guarantee you uh, there are some things you can't act out because it's way more physical than, than we're allowed to that do. That would be depending I will on the say, script, though. I will Same say hairspray. Band. No marching band. Marching is the athletic element oh, of it. Still not buying it. I disagree. I'm okay with that. <laughs> How about them cowboys? <laughs> there we go. That's it, because it's neutral. I feel like 
it, there's physical exertion. I'm not on the side of it being a sport, but I can also see your argument. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I am because there's physical activity. Yeah, but I get it. You know, is there is there like a sports team band? Uh, but yes. I think our college, college, and I think there are even some that like extend beyond that. But it's yes. like the WNBA. Nobody's paying attention. <laughs> But the WNBA is a sport. No, I get, I get the WNBA is a sport, but marching band isn't. But you no. said it's like WNBA. <laughs> I said it's a like. I mean, there are two like the things that aren't the same. Marching band exist. isn't a sport. Is a sport. That's okay. It's living to argue with people. Are we not like, going to mention weekend. the best? Sport I have been wanting to argue right all weekend. <laughs> are we, we're just going to neglect the best sport that's Probably. been since like our dawn of births. Mm, what is it? Bowling. Those hot dog eating contests, yeah. those pizza eating <laughs> contests, <laughs> all that Glizzy stuff. contests. I'm more, I'm more pissed yeah. off that this eaters. is a sports-themed episode, and we're trying to talk about everything except, like, yeah. oh, big sports. Well, then, no, the Super Bowl. Back. The Super Bowl just happened. I can't believe how good of a game that was. Yeah, like, yeah. that was Shut the hell up. Fucking crazy. <laughs> I can't believe she that halftime it. show you was outrageous. Rihanna. Rihanna. Like, that was, she killed it. It's so good. First of all, Rihanna's we can't, performance we have to call is going to be fucking game. golden. I'm here yeah. for all oh, the yeah, big games. So the big game. The big game. The Go Sports big wow. game. Yep. I did want... Insert winners here. <laughs> <laughs> the really killed the it this yeah. time. Yeah. 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 I put 600 down. <laughs> Fucking. Um, I wanted Justin to talk about um, there's a kid at the high school right now that apparently fucking is killing it in oh, soccer. Oh, yeah, Temple High School soccer player, and right? I just is feel that like that's, yeah, like, that's yeah, one of my that's a whole, like, feel-good story right now. This dude just scored, right like, five goals in nine minutes on a, in a game just yeah. recently. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah apparently he's like, working on, I'm not sure if it's, beautiful. like, a full high school career or if it's this season, but he's working on, like, his 89th plus goal. Damn. And yeah. for, I feel like soccer, that's super fun. Oh, it's a lot. Soccer's not yeah. big in this Considering area. Considering we've watched really multiple yeah. games that go 0-0, zero, zero, the fact that nine minutes this dude scored five goals, either the other team is really bad or he's, or he's or really fucking good. really good. Locally for sports is kind of nice. You know, Temple, Texas, we have two wide receivers just played for TCU in the national championship. Nice. One just declared for the draft, oh, yeah. and he's rated the, the best wide receiver possible. Did oh, TCU snap. just get super No, oh, TCU got, got shit I'm sorry, Justice. That's my sister. They're like, they, they like got destroyed. I'm, I'm a TCU fan. I, yeah, they got their shit wrecked. I'm pretty sure they set like a whole ass record for. <laughs> yeah, they set something. a record for the largest point margin <laughs> Good in God. all of college They got the record for like, the biggest for ass beating. Channel. That's crazy. What was that score again? Uh, like the biggest win in college football history was in it was like the early, either the late 1800s or early 1900s. It was 222 points to zero. Holy so what was, uh, shit! The TCU Georgia game. Oh, I don't. Oh. It's like 63 to seven. Oh. oh, I thought it was more than that. Mm-hmm. I thought it was more than that. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that's still pretty big. That's still pretty no, bad. That's, that's, that's still yeah. that's still like yeah. Domination. The previous record was like 48 points, like the deficit. So yeah. for them to blow that out of the water by like 10 plus points was crazy. What would y'all say? Sorry, this is like a total. No, go for it. Um, what would y'all say y'all's favorite sports movie is? Which one, Adam I, I'm a little torn, but Happy one, Gilmore, Longest, Longest Yard. Yard. Oh, I actually, Happy Gilmore. Longest Yard is good. That's fine. I, I, I enjoyed that one. I've watched. Yeah. I've seen Man, it multiple times, one. and it makes me fucking laugh. Longest like, so Yard is good. I like it. This is tough for me because I, I like the ones that are based off of real ones, yep. but I also like, obviously, just the obscure ones, but I like the real ones for the inspirational mm-hmm. reasons. Like, it makes me feel really good at the end. It makes me want to do shit. Um, but I want to say my favorite sports movie is Waterboy. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Adam like, Sandler wild again. That Adam Sandler just struck twice. Yeah, yeah. what the yeah. heck? I, I didn't even realize that. In there. Shaolin fucking soccer. I was talking oh. about Shaolin Dude, soccer. Oh, I wow. forgot about I'm it. I was like, <laughs> it's it's so good. It's so cheesy. It's yes. corny. It's over the top. But it's like it's anime funny. in real life. It's I was so gonna say fun. it's like anime yeah. in real life. I, I haven't seen the movie, but like I I've seen the previews. Yeah, and it's very just on obscure the movie is soccer. Fun. You could watch it, and you know you're gonna have fun just by the. It's they they know they're being funny. And I like the dub version more because the dub <laughs> version creates like that element of also like cheesy kung. Oh. Oh, so it's like cheesy kung fu with over the top soccer and special effects and it's it's, it's great. It it's like from, Kung Pao with soccer. Oh, is it from the creators of Kung Fu Hustle? Oh, it oh, might what? it might I think I've seen that one. Yeah. Oh, kung Fu yeah. Hustle but soccer. Mm-hmm. Kung Fu Hustle was really yeah. I love What are y'all's? I gotta think about mine for a minute because that's a huge question. Yeah, that's so I made like a really point. long list of okay. um sports movies because I was like, I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I think um just like from this list that's reminding me of things, probably Space Jam. 
Oh, that's Space a, that's a classic. That's okay. a super like nostalgic yeah. fuel yeah. right there. Like yeah. that's such a good one. I feel like I when we Jam. talked about uh, movies the other day, I was like, Space Jam was one of them because so I was good. like thinking of like movies we watched like growing up. It's so all like Space Jam, like Angels in the Outfield. Yeah, um, like, forgot about one. that. Too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, um, like Mike, like there's Air Bud, Air There's so many like the Mighty Ducks. Mighty yes, Ducks. I actually and didn't that know. Show. Good too. It is, is I, the I new season came it. out. I, I need to, I, I need to check it out. It. I haven't seen the new one. You mm. haven't seen the first one? Mm -mm. <gasps> really? Yeah. It's good. Can you guys tag team how the stars are doing right now? Oh my Just God. Hang on, we gotta get to your favorite movies. Yeah, yeah, you're favorite already favorite trying to jump movies. to the next He's subject. He's trying to change it so he doesn't have to tell us what his favorite I'm okay with that. <laughs> Take your time, because I'm still thinking. It's Here's so, some ideas. I gotta say, that one, uh... That one Air Bud. What you think about, the, <laughs> think about <laughs> That Bring It On. Yo, bring, bring It, it on, on was. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you did it. God. Cheers. You know, Bring It On was really good. <laughs> There's a list of movies Fired I used to up. watch when Fired I was a up. kid. That was one of them. That would always be playing. Mighty Ducks would always be playing. Yeah. It's just like all the stuff that was on HBO. Coach Carter, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know Coach Carter. I, shit. <laughs> Man. I, I was going to say guys? Mighty Ducks was definitely my second to Waterboy, but it's also because it was around the same time that I was playing hockey, so it was like cool to see it on yeah. as a as a movie, you know? It's also just a good movie. So it is, it is just a good movie. Yeah, it is. I was thinking about more serious movies, and I was like, uh, what is it? Uh, Remember the Titans? Remember the Remember Titans? Titans. Oh. So Oh, good. Really good one. Yeah. That's like, probably a close. Of course, I love Blindside. I know some people were kind of. I was about just talking. I, I was love, just talking yeah. about. It. I just saw it actually. I really love Blindside too. The what's his name? Blindside. Michael Orr. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Apparently doesn't like that movie because they no, portrayed him to be really dumb. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And I know there was like a bunch of stuff about it. Yeah, yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Yep. My favorite sports yeah. movie is really big, but I think it's. I like the Rocky franchise. Um, oh, huge, huge fan of the Rocky oh, franchise. Oh, yeah. Even going into Creed. Yeah, I was I am, say, going in I'm to... just as excited for Creed 3 as I am Ant-Man. Yeah. Like, well, you got oh what, like, a couple is, MCU yeah. actors in it. So Two big yep. MCU villains are just going to go beat each other's asses. Actually, three. Uh, Valkyrie's in it. Valkyrie's, in yeah. Valkyrie's the wife. Yeah. yeah. Have y'all seen I, Tanya? Oh, my gosh. Uh, I, I know the show, oh, but I've never no, seen it. No, it's, a, it's a movie that with Margot Robbie. And it's based on a true story. Yeah. It's Okay. It's crazy. based on the uh, real life incident where it was uh, figure skating. Yeah. Where Tanya hit uh, Tanya Hardy, right? Yeah. She, yeah. Uh, she, yeah. She like hired, hit, she like busted. The she, she hired someone. It, she hired it was someone. Like her, I think her husband hired someone. Yeah. And she was like saying she was didn't know or like something. It's like yeah. mixed. Like yeah, really it's very happened. very weird. But she like whoever it was fucking beat her legs. Took out the knee of her competition. Yeah. yeah. Beat yeah. That, that was shit was thing crazy. My favorite the sports movie, good. though. Sorry, y'all. Sorry. I was talking about Rocky. I got to get <laughs> yeah. this out before I... Well, I'm not going to forget it. Oh, I thought that's what you were saying. No, no. I was, I, I, it's big because it's a really big question for me. It's where I love sports Lots movies. Of yeah. Good ones, yeah. Southpaw yeah. is my favorite sports movie. Oh, wow. Oh, with uh, Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal? Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah, dude. Ooh. That movie is so I, devastating what from the start. What sport is that one about? Boxing. Yeah. Uh, like, at the end of this movie, it was almost like... Like, you know how it's going to end because oh, a lot of sports movies are super predictable. Like, you know, the sure, good guys yeah. win. Mm-hmm. But I was cheering like I was watching like a sporting event. Yeah, like, I was, I cried. honestly, you like, want you want. It was fucking beautiful. That's well, thought you were gonna say your favorite was "Here Comes the Boom." No, mm, I was gonna say no. not all sports movies oh, okay. end with that that happy no, ending. And, like well, Rocky did that a lot. Yeah, the Rocky didn't lost, win. The second one he won. Mm -hmm. The third one he lost and won. Uh, yeah, there. I'm trying to think of another sports movie where the people lost. The people lost, but like I don't oh, know. It's, it's it almost seems more real to me that sometimes when they lose because it's not always the happy ending that no. you want. Million Dollar Baby. Oh, oh yeah. Love that one was baby. sad how that fucking turned out. Her family yeah. were pieces of dog I can't shit. remember. I, it's one of those things where I don't remember what happened, but I remember the feeling I felt when I watched it, and I love that movie. Her neck, like, during a yeah. fight with the chair. Did she die? Uh, no, she's paralyzed, which is worse, because oh, she's, right. like, wanting to box, and she can't even Is that based her on body. a real story? I don't. I don't think it is. No, it was just. Sad. I don't think it is. <laughs> her families are trash. Like, give it. Sign this paper. We want your money. Yeah. Like, I'm like, dude, what is going on? Mm -mm -mm. That's like that Taylor Swift lyric. Which one? I was about to ask. Which Taylor Swift lyric? She Everybody's says, a baby. I have this dream. Sexy baby. <laughs> it's the same song. Um, my oh, <laughs> <it's really? laughs> yeah. My daughter-in-law killed, killed me, me for, for the, the money. money. She thinks I left them in the will. The family gathers around and reads it out, and someone screams out. She's laughing up, but us from hell. I'm like, oh, she paints such an amazing. Yeah, but, but right before that, she calls everybody a sexy 
sexy baby. And she it's does weird. call everyone a sexy baby, and that was an interesting <laughs> choice. I won't lie to you, man. Like I actually really like this song, but every time, like I have a dream where everybody's a sexy baby, I'm like. What? What yeah. the fuck context like, are we so talking about? We don't have weird sexy dreams. Baby. I was like, dude, I don't think that's what she said. I don't know. Like, what is a sexy yeah. baby exactly? Yeah. Like, like a that's baby that's Twilight. sexy? Yeah, I was, was going to say, Jacob. Jacob, Jacob you know, you know. sexy baby we keep, real we, fast. We keep jumping in ahead. Sorry. Sorry. We did it in the last oh. one. <laughs> so your favorite is yes. Southpaw. Southpaw, yes. Not Here Comes the Boom. Not. Okay. I'm not a big fan of Kevin James, y'all. I'm really not. and Kevin, oh, Kevin James. Yeah, he was a, like a substitute teacher in yeah. Here uh-huh. Comes the Boom and goes and does UFC fighting. Oh, oh it's yes. It's a really fun movie. Though. It is a fun I movie. I just. It a lot. Uh, we want to talk about factor. UFC movies. I don't think it's the top of any of The Fighter. Okay. Is that the, the one where the guys. Uh, Tom, they're like brothers. The, yeah. That, That's the one with Tom Hardy. That was fucking dope. That one didn't end happily. That motherfucker was like going to go to military jail or something. Yeah. Got his arm broken by his brother. Yeah. I was like, God. There's one. I don't remember if it's a movie or a show. Fighting with my family. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to bring that one up later with Florence Pugh, who was in Black Widow. That's based on a real life, uh, real life story of wrestler. Uh, Soraya, I think is her name. Yeah. She's currently mm-hmm. signed with a wrestling company, AEW. Paige oh, was that WWE. Was so good. Mm-hmm. That was an amazing movie. Yeah. Well, Florence Pugh doesn't miss. Miss. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I haven't seen anything. Yeah. In it, but yeah. Pretty I, I feel like wrestling, when talking about sports, is a really it's a gray area. I would even say similar <laughs> to your marching band argument. I was gonna say my oh, favorite. Movie yeah. yeah. Is because it's twenty four. It's a performance. They are too. named sports what? entertainers. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's scripted, but it doesn't mean that the physicality part isn't real. I'm mm-hmm. changing my movie. So if we gotcha. call that a sport. What are you changing your movie to? WrestleMania 24. <laughs> <laughs> so Ready to Rumble? You remember that one? Oh, oh, that was a good, yeah, that was a good movie. Okay, that's my movie. That's my movie. <laughs> <laughs> Sting comes out. But yeah. to your point, like the it is scripted, but like I forgot what wrestler I saw the, uh, recently that they were like, you can't script a, a chair smacking into yeah. someone's back. Like that's not... All the stuff that they do, they have to jump off these things and they have to hit each other because, like, there's no way to not make actual contact in certain things. And I think there was somebody recently who got hit with the chair because you were watching it and they, like, had to, like, all the refs, like, had to swarm him to, like, make sure that he was, like, yeah. good, good before they could Yeah, because go. those so spots can get... they try to, like, get, focus somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. I, spot can get I mean, they learned stage Fuck combat, up. too. Yep. For sure. Yeah. There's definitely a technique, but... Theater element. But the rock's so a good lot of the stuff that, like... Yeah. Like uh, McFoley used to get thrown yeah, on you throw tacks and barbed wire and stuff. Learned out the window as soon as like all these stunts come in from like Hell in a Cell. Yeah, the well, TLC matches. Like, you talk about a lot of that. Like the Undertaker, he, he did a he did a interview once, and effectively, like all of his orbital sockets and everything in his face is shattered. It's gone. Damn. It's held together with like surgery. Hopes and dreams. Like Hopes it, there's dreams. no way that this man would have Thoughts survived it without the help of like, none of it would have just healed. So yeah. Like, there is like a I physical. Just, I just saw this uh, interview with uh, Triple H. He was talking about how him and uh, he was, and it was cool because they showed the clip as he was like uh, talking about this. And he it was fighting Kurt Angle, and they were he was about to pedigree him through the table, the ones that where like the announcers are, where they have like yeah, the TV the screens table. and stuff like that. Uh, and he took all the stuff off, but something happened when he was like jumping to do the pedigree oh. or whatever, and the table collapsed, and so they <laughs> fell weird. Yeah. And Kurt Angle smacked his face onto a, a, a monitor, and he yeah. got knocked out. Like yeah. at that moment, he was knocked out, and that was kind of what was supposed to happen. Like mm-hmm. he was supposed to get like knocked mm-hmm. out, and then uh, paramedics were supposed to come take him back to the back room, and then he was supposed to come back out. Like you know, like I'm not done with this fight, kind of thing. But like he actually <laughs> got knocked out, and then he said that uh, he told the ref like he's out. And uh, you could see it, and it was so cool because all the I, I remember seeing this match, and you couldn't tell that there was like a mess up. But yeah. he oh, had wow. a concussion and stuff. They actually had to take him out in the paramedics. And then uh, when uh, he was supposed to come out, The Rock actually came out and was uh, fighting Triple H. And Kurt Angle then does stumble back in, yep. but he is <laughs> he, had, back in. he he was he wasn't even pretending at that point. Oh, he had okay. a concussion, yeah. and that was before like they had concussion protocols and stuff like that. So like. Uh, at the time, like he would not have come back if it was like nowadays, but yeah. he started stumbling back and he was supposed to still like go 
fight a little bit. Oh my god! Basically, he Triple H was sh like kind of like moving him for him because he couldn't do the moves that they yep. were supposed to do. But like that's one of those things. It's like that's the physicality part of wrestling. Like that's Fucking not dedication. that's not. There's a lot of really cool like, that. Shout out to uh, Dark Side of the Ring. I feel like Dark Side of the Ring has just opened up this like world that we've never seen for wrestling. There's always been like little interviews and stuff. But uh, what's that one? Zac Efron is just gonna play one of the brothers. Oh yeah. Um, the Von Eric. Oh, the Von Eric. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so excited for that story. I remember telling you guys a while back. I'm like, holy fuck! Just one <laughs> just night, I stayed up so late watching Dark Side of the Ring. Man, Stephen Amell did a show on yeah. Star. The heel. It's heel. It's great. And oh, yeah. A heel is a classic term in wrestling for a bad guy. You're either a heel or a baby face. Mm. Yeah. But going back to like selling and wrestling, there's it's really cool when you start really digging into like some of the behind the scenes stuff. You'll see a lot of subtle things like wrestlers do, like they'll pinch each other. Yeah. And like they're, when they're both on the ground, you'll see them like grab the wrist of the other one. It's their way of saying like, hey, I'm good. Uh -huh. Or yeah. hey, in oh, the match. That's cool. I saw someone, yeah. uh, he claps before he does his finisher. Yeah. I forgot who it was, but he claps. And if he doesn't, then it's like a, you're going to do a re yeah, reversal. It. If you ever, but see, it's subtle. Like I, I didn't notice it until someone pointed it if out. You ever see like a That's ref? Really if you cool. if you ever go back to watch wrestling and they throw up like an X symbol, yeah, somebody's oh, yeah. Like, mm. somebody's really hurt. Like stop it, get out of it. They're yeah. they're like yeah, hurt, hurt. But there was a wrestler Cody Rhodes recently who he's been on the men for like six months with you like a pectoral surgery. Yeah. He went and wrestled an entire match in a cage oh, with like yeah. a completely blown out pectoral. Not muscle. makeup, yeah. not makeup at it, all. It looked awful. Can't oh, fake it. One time <laughs> in like junior high, one of our football players, his ass cheek got separated. Oh, <laughs> 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 he went like his ass. <laughs> I just imagine it's somebody like, we got your ass, bro. I don't remember if it was he his threw ass that ass cheek in or a circle. Muscle, but one of those muscles <laughs> got Lord. literally. Separated from his body. Hank Hill. Oh my God. And we all saw it. Did he so laugh his ass off? <laughs> Ain't that some shit? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That sounds horrible. Yeah, he was like one of our star players too. It is Not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wear assless chaps, I'll tell you that much. The ref came to a split decision. <laughs> okay, anyway. Going to oh. Oh. <laughs> Perkins, you uh, you would talk to us about anime. You had suggested we watch Blue Lock. I know it was it got a lot of notoriety because this past World Cup, the Japanese team actually wore jerseys inspired by the anime. Wow. So I think most of us watched either most of what was out or all of it, but I feel like we were going to talk about that a little bit. Yes. So. Anime dump us. Here we go, guys. So Blue Lock. Imagine it's uh. real. Now, everybody's seen Squid Game, right? Yes. I think. Sorry. I hope everyone's seen Squidward, Squidward Games. Muscle Manal. I think if they didn't watch it, they at least know about it. Okay, yeah. so you know about the Battle Royale genre. Mm. So imagine that, but with soccer. Now, the way this anime works, the whole plot line is there's all these soccer players that want to be, they, they're, they're aspiring to be on the national team. Everyone has dreams like that in real life too. Like you want to just be the best at something. Now, imagine a game where you get that chance. You get that opportunity, but it's a double-edged sword. If you get kicked out of this blue lock, you lose that dream forever. Meaning you can't play soccer ever again that national dream you had gone you're a sideline person now you don't even get to you don't get the game no more Damn. would you take that risk forever bench that. that's yeah like, i yeah. didn't realize that at first either i didn't know that that i, I thought that they were just like if i'm not gonna be the best then there, like, like you, you gotta go no they're yeah. done they're that's done crazy. no more soccer they so actually break their you. fucking legs Ew, afterwards it. <laughs> like it's just the people above have that power because it's, it's a japanese government running that because Gotcha. They point out Japan has never won the national games, right? Mm -hmm. Still current to this day. Still mm -hmm. is. So would y'all take that opportunity before I get deeper into Like if you had like, say, Danny, you're just going to be this insanely world renowned fucking player. band. That's racist. <laughs> No, what do you mean? Because he's kidding. Mexican. Oh, <laughs> no, no. He, was, he, was he, saying he that went it, straight for the most physically fit member <laughs> to play no. soccer. I was like, Not soccer. I went to the band. <laughs> I went to the band aspect. Like that yeah. being world known R. That's a, a, that's a scary thought right. that like if you're not the best, then you got to like do not it. do it ever. I wake up at piss excellence. I'm in. Ooh, I, you're I mean, a brave not? man. It's scary, but like. I don't think I would. 
Oh. I'd rather not be the best and do what I enjoy doing than like no, never get to do it. Is it that you can just never play at all? Or you just can't play. No, you're done. Like they're putting they their their whole reason with it is only the ones that are, have the biggest ego that strive to be the best deserve to ever get that mm-hmm. chance. Once they get kicked out, their dreams are done. They're okay, nothing. So it, it would be that they're they're playing, done. Like, just there's no, no more professional yeah. shit. And that's like that's how serious it for them. I mean, I guess they could technically play soccer with friends. Yeah. That's not shit no more. You yeah. lost yeah. your dream yeah if you had a dream to aspire to be the best you I remember guess in really space jam when all those athletes got their their abilities taken away and then uh i forgot which one goes to like the basketball charles court barkley. charles barkley gets like <laughs> wrecked by those kids he's like, and he's like you man ain't, you ain't gross? nothing no you more ain't even charles barkley. <laughs> no, you're not charles. i love when he goes to the fucking church and I'll never talk bad about my mama again. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, so Blue Lock focuses on, I got all the names wrote down. We'll go, Asagi, he's the main character. Yes. He's been posed this opportunity and he's one of the ones that's like, fuck yeah, I'm yeah, going Yeah, he was in. the first one that was like, I'm doing this. And then everyone's like, oh, well, if he's doing it. I'm doing it. Yeah. He runs in and everyone's all hype at first until they realize the reality of the situation. Ego, which is, I'll call him the coach of everybody. His name is Ego, Love and him. it's a fitting name because he hammers that shit into their head the whole time. You need to be an attacker. Yeah. And where they what they do amazing with this series is soccer is a team sport. You have to work together. Ego's like, nah, G, fuck that. No. You need to score that goal. Only the ones that score goals deserve to be on this team. So they have to fight with themselves and others on how to either win the game but also stay relevant to the team, which is by scoring goals. So some have to sit in the back and wonder if they're going to be cut from the team because they made a decision to do what's best for the team instead of yeah. themselves. And this gets played up even further as the series goes uh, goes along. You have people like, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler, spoiler alert, you got, what's his name? Wataru Kuhn. <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> that's Hold his name. Up. <laughs> That's his name. Fuck Japanese that. name. Man, fuck he's that so, guy. <laughs> he yeah. decides fuck that he's going to fucking betray his team. And they built him up to be this big ass team player. The he was entire like, quiet. Time. Yeah. Like, Guys, we're going to We're, we're doing do so good. good. And then he's like, I don't give a fuck about y'all. And he goes, he does the craziest shit. He jumps to the other team mid game. I'm not helping y'all. I only care about myself. And he made all these points. Dream Rock, that was a really uh, smart strategy in a, in a situation. Was well it was. He made all these points during the match. Switch the sides like, I'm good whether or not y'all win or lose. And it hammers in the fact to everyone that like, hey, this is really not about a team. We have to focus on ourselves. And he hammered that in. They were able to, of course, turn that shit around and say, hey, fuck you. Fuck you. But at the moment... They wanted to beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Bad, dude. Betrayal. But, and those two, that was the same episode with those, like, the twins the that were twins. fucking awful. Oh, yeah. One big uh, thing about Blue Lock is the shit talking. They talk s- just cash money shit the entire <laughs> time. Like, it's beautiful. Like, one phrase I make sure to get, there's somebody named Nagi. We'll call him this free dribbling soccer ball god that's quiet. And then you got... What's his name? Where is he at? Nagi's the one with like the blonde and black hair? Boro. Yeah, no. Uh, so Nagi is the one with the silver hair. Okay. You only get a glimpse of mm-hmm. him. Okay. And then you got uh, Baru King. He's the one that calls himself the king. And he he backs his shit up, by the yeah. way. He ain't no <laughs> he ain't no bitch. He's good. Yes. But his exact <laughs> words to Nagi were, do you want the king to personally crush you? And then Nagi's like, you bark a lot for someone who lost, king. I'll Damn. beat you and make you my servant. And, you know, <laughs> him hearing this is a big-ass level of disrespect because he beat everybody else except this man. You know, <laughs> like, he was just ca- talking cash shit. And they go back and forth with the emotions flaring in their eyes. What they like to do is give the players an aura, and then their eyes go insane when an emotion I really like that. I really like that part Such of the animation. Such a cool animation part when you know they've, like, clicked into their whatever. Yeah. And they go into they go into different aspects of soccer. Like obviously, since it's soccer, they're gonna have the yeah. dribbling, the passing, the speed aspect, the people that can score from far away. And when you think about it, this shit is hard to do. If you ever go watch professionals play it, there's a reason people ain't scoring goals like that. <laughs> like it's not fucking easy. You're sprinting from one side all the way to the other while watching to make sure someone doesn't steal the ball, while watching to make sure you can pass to somebody else or make a goal. They take all of that and then turn it into fucking Squid Game 
And there's anime yeah. to shoot. When he put it on, I literally said, this is just Squid Games, but soccer. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes me sad that you're saying it with that much lack of enthusiasm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. some it's parts of it, I've been like, Right, if you're not here. super into sports, you might not like it. Yeah, but then say, there are a couple of parts though that I have actually kind of enjoyed. So like the dude that like towards like ACL or whatever, and then came yeah. back out oh, of nowhere. Like, yeah, yeah, I was actually kind of hype about that shit. So yeah, there was like a turning it's point kinda... for me because when Perkins told me to watch it, I was like, okay, you know, I already have this thing where I'm like, I don't really watch sports, you know, at least the uh, anime sports, and I'm like, okay, so I gave it a shot. But one of the turning points for me was when I think it was Bachura. He, uh, he was he's the weird dude on the team. He has a monster yeah, in him. He has a monster. Yeah. When they started like developing his character and showing like, okay, it's not just a sports anime. It's like they're doing more. They're showing like at least this other side of. Uh, it kind of seems more like the characters kind of allude to like my hero for me. Like a little bit. Some, they all have yeah. a, a quirk essentially yeah, to that exactly. makes them like why they're a good forward exactly you gotta remember at the end of the day it's anime yeah (laughs) Yeah. it's crazy though i've watched two uh like soccer things recently that i watched uh welcome to wrexham such a good one and i watched this anime and it's it's so weird because like i feel like i like soccer now but i tried to watch (laughs) it the other day and i was like well it's still soccer so i found myself like after watching wrexham like googling their scores and yeah. shit, but that's as much as I can do. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, still, it's still a little hard to watch. I know it's like the world's most popular sport, but I don't understand how it maintains its level of excitement. I, I feel yeah. like that about like fucking baseball. Like, well, that one's also like, just for me. Baseball, I feel like, I guess, like you really got to be a yeah, dedicated baseball like, fan to enjoy it. I feel like I, baseball is same. so just. Uh, and then like, you know, like every once in a while has yeah. yeah every once in a while has its moments where like shit pops off. You're like ah, yeah. oh, but it lasts like two. But seconds. that's that's the best part of shows, and especially like with anime, it's like they cut the bullshit. Yeah, you get to yeah. get and all they action. give us just the good stuff, and with so like storyline. Yeah, exactly, and especially with this anime, like it's cool that they each have like their their uh abilities that they need to get to the next level of where right. they're going even though that you know if you if you don't score enough points you're out or, or if you're like the lowest team the last team like that i i, I think it, that's why i liked it so it much it's like an element to it where it's not just soccer you know yeah yeah and that's the thing too like ego does a great ass job like you're I not love hate him he, he <laughs> and that's the thing like he's, he's gonna, a he's dick a, exactly <laughs> he has no sympathy he wants you to be the very best and well he's got a job and he's doing it yeah, yeah. in order to do that he shows you like this is how you do it you're not gonna come in here and be a bitch about it <laughs> did y'all have an ability you liked the most as far as uh so far honestly it's the like i could smell a goal like his spatial I, I awareness love his shit. His spatial awareness is cool yeah i love chigari or it's Chigari, the speed, right? The speed yeah. motherfucker. I, I just, that that was a turning point for me also. Like, that's when I was fully on board. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, I was wondering what this guy, like, what he was doing. And the twins, like, they used to, they grew up with him, yeah. right? Yeah, like, he joined their soccer team. was like, I just want to be a, a a good soccer player. Fuck y'all. Yeah. He was also, he, he was all, also very egotistical. Yeah, he blew his oh, shit. Yeah. yeah, like, he was like, I'm better than y'all, so whatever, you know? Like fuck you guys, and then he got injured and yep. got humbled a little bit. Yeah, and he came back like Sonic the fucking Hedgehog and just <laughs> took off. Yeah. yeah, I think that part for me that was awesome because you know there's so much, so many people that get injured, and when they deal with these injuries, like they'll never be able to come back. Right. Yeah, I think that part for like some people who are actually watching it injured, like it'll probably put. I mean, yeah, it happens. Warm. It's real, like yeah. especially for real athletes that you know. I mean, what Mahomes got? Yeah, he, he got like injured yesterday. Leg I was like, got, shit. I mean, and you see that a he lot. He was with, not trying to give up either. No, he, he was. was no, like, yeah, oh, he's like, my put my back, back in. in. That gets to like this weird aspect of like football does it mostly. I mean, all sports probably do it where you're like, man, what goes on in that locker room that allows you to come back out with no pain and Dude, keep playing? Dude, Mike like, Madonna. I want to see that shit. Drugs. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, <laughs> I, mean, honestly, I know yeah. it, but it's not a, not like I know the cocktail but it has specifically. To be, like, it has to be more than just that, though, because they know that they're injured, but they're like, Fuck that! I can push through it. Yeah, you know that's that that's a mindset. Oh, yeah, I was about to say it's it's this is his paycheck yeah. on the line. Exactly. This is his livelihood. Like fucking snapped his goddamn ankle. Like was it last season? Two and seasons then, ago, I thought. Or, yeah, but Dak, he, oh yeah, 
fucked his ankle up and then before he was willing to run like he needed to run to get a fucking touchdown or to get fucking you know first down like he was running but after that happened he got real like no we talk about the love of sports though and going you know we had mentioned damar hamlin in the last episode um the first thing he asked when he woke up was did we win yeah. yeah, they're like, bro, we weren't gonna play. Like that's oh we couldn't play after that's that. That's how deep rooted that shit goes. Yeah. When you talk about like trying to relay the or like relate them to like superheroes in a sense, we it's one of the. And I'm not trying to get where it's like you know our firefighters and first responders. The real that's not what I'm talking <laughs> yeah. about. It's like these are as close to like superhero esque figures as we're ever going to get because they well, put themselves in a their position abilities to be are like the abilities that athletes man. have yeah. is crazy. And I think bringing it back to the anime, it's a I think it's cool because like each of the characters having their own special ability, it's almost like when we watch these players, it's almost like they have, for example, in hockey right now, there's a, a player on our team. His name is Jason Robertson. He's super young. Right. He's pretty new. Like, I think this is his second or maybe third year in, in the NHL huh. and has like this crazy hockey sense like that is very like, amazing to watch yeah. happen like this is uh i equate him to mike madonna who was one of the main dallas stars that i was took actually a... gonna bring him up because when we're talking about playing with injuries yeah yeah, yeah he played with a broken hand god hey, it, yeah it's a wrist or something what? hand or wrist and that was like for the that was the stanley cup yeah right? that's when they won the stanley yeah. cup like he yeah. played through those Crazy injuries but what these people will do yeah, yeah. you're right that's why the anime has it, it's always gonna have it's like source material and the only reason this anime is able to do that in this fantastical setting is because yeah. shit like that's real. A quarterback is a multi-million dollar quarterback because he learned how to throw the ball and have the sense better than anyone else. Yeah. Well, and you have to think about this too. Like, for example, we got like kind of a behind the scenes with the Dallas Cowboys like training camp show. Oh, oh yeah, like the hard knocks. Hard yeah, knocks. Yeah. Like they're sort of not. I don't want to say brainwashed because that's not really the word, but like this is passionate. they eat breathe and sleep yeah right? yeah that's right. drilled into their head or, exactly that's yeah. all they ever think about so. and there are people that are bred for that shit yeah. like you're right it's it's an indoctrination more than a brain yeah. that's, 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 like you indoctrination it's not is a juxtaposition the, is that the what big is word is that the big word for the season <laughs> yeah but it, that's you're right and you get to see the behind the scenes like that it's easy for us on sundays or whatever day your football or sports team is playing like that's my team or criticize them i can't believe you do this but it's super real. Like, if you yeah. think you can do it, go fucking do it. I guarantee yeah. you that 95% of us can't. Go get oh. And it's super real. No. <laughs> us as fans, we're allowed to criticize and be critical of those people. Like, um, the Cowboys kicker that played the most recent game right. missed yes. four field goals. Well, not the most recent. <laughs> ha ha, because the big because game just happened. they just, just won the Super Bowl. Whoa. Whoa. Don't you hey, dare don't put that in the air right now. Knock, knock on wood. All right. But, Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to give a notable mention okay, to this right. one I started I'm watching. <laughs> I'm going to leave the name in the comments or something. In the comments? Where are you going to leave it? You're just going to put it in the comments down below? We could also just like <laughs> pop it up. Yeah, because you know? I know I'm going to mess it up, but it's called like something like As the Stars Align or something like that. It's <gasps> oh the tennis God. one. The oh, tennis oh, one. Fuck, 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 fuck. No, no. Is that one the... Uh, uh, tennis? Baseball? Yeah. Tennis? Oh, Dude, man. that is so, an emotional fucking man. roller coaster. Prince of Tennis is a better coaster. tennis anime. No, Whoa! No, 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 no. Whoa, no, no, no. no. Prince of Tennis. Like Prince of tennis. <laughs> oh, I about to say, no, that one. Yeah. Yeah. That <laughs> is <laughs> sad. This one, this one kind of messed me up. Uh, oh, well, see, if we're talking about emotion, I don't, I'm not trying. This I'm trying to watch sports, court. my man. <laughs> it's sports. I'm trying to feel things. It's about tennis, but basically what you get... It's like it starts off right. Um, this this boy just moved comments. back to his. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? I, I don't want a full breakdown of this shit right I now. I do, baby. Uh, I yeah, do. Yeah, you need this. <laughs> this? Now, mention it in the comments. All right, so to set the tone for the first season. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, this boy moves back to his neighborhood with his mom. As you can get like from the intro, like they just went through something kind of uh, heartfelt. Like something just happened. Like it goes into it later. Dramatic or tragic. Yeah, exactly. And um, what you get is just this boy, you know, he's coming back to school. His old friends are there. And you it shows this tennis team. They're high schoolers, right? Yeah. And they fucking suck. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they're like, bad. Yeah, they're really bad. This, this one kid, he keeps on getting like, you know, he's the only one that cares about the team. The rest of the team, they don't give a shit. They're like, ah, you know, uh, maybe I'll just go do this, you know? Fuck, yeah. fuck Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're all just, like, done. They're hopeless. They're just like, we will get them next year, you know? 
And so, then they get sent to highlighter yellow lock <laughs> for tennis balls, you know? Oh, God. Uh, yeah. Go home. <laughs> so, come well, back. We need you. Yeah. Come to find out, like, you know, the kid that just moved back, he used to. Um, I guess tennis was, prodigy. To, well, practically. Yeah, that's a yeah. But he, he used to play all these sports with that kid, right? Yeah. And I'm. Ter- I'm just saying that kid because I forgot their names already. Their names but, are hard. They're not easy names to remember. Man. For real, if I can remember an anime name, then I've it's an achievement. I watched the full season of Blue Lock, and <laughs> I don't remember a single one of their names. This show is such a ride, like so emotional. Um, definitely not what I thought I was gonna get into, but you know, come to find out, they moved back because like he, they were dealing with a divorce with a dad who's abusive. You know, they thought they could get away from him and they thought they were about to live like a happy life. They're struggling for money. Like the kid's trying everything to get his mom on her feet. Isn't and this stuff. that movie with Will Smith? I was going to say, like, man, Serena Richards? Will? Yeah. It's dark. It's like, dark. The dad, the dad comes back. back the like he beats like... the shit out of him for a second. Dang. And yeah. this kid's like, he didn't want to play tennis, but he heard about the money offer from his friend and he's like, okay, how much do I get paid? And so he's on board. He's such a dick to all the tennis players. <laughs> like they're just like, man, fuck this guy. <laughs> but it goes deeper into like realizing every player has like something Fucking they're going issue, through. Dude. Yeah, and that's something you have to consider. Their special ability is past trauma. <laughs> no, it's just like it gives a realistic take when you think about sports. Like everybody is going through some shit, even yeah. if they're not showing it. But that one, oh, it shows it. <laughs> you gonna learn about every character. You're like, damn, maybe. Maybe I was a little judgmental as first of this motherfucker. <laughs> There's this one kid who he like he's tired of his sister being like picked on. Like these bullies, they come around. They're like, "Oh, your sister's so hot. I bet she, you know." And he just beats the shit out of him with a racket. And <laughs> yeah. he's like the smallest kid on that team, I think. And they're just like, "What the fuck?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> I okay. think we've all wanted to beat the shit out of. He did it with the tennis racket. racket. He yeah. went for it. He, he so went all in. No, not the. No, he about... turned it sideways. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> he's the frame. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "I'm gonna cause some Shut damage." Yeah, I got. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this in the episode, but I got into a fight one time with someone and I beat him up with a basketball. <laughs> I basically dribbled on his face because, like, I threw it at his face. Context. I'm the good guy in this, all right? (laughs) Just in case we keep this in the episode, let's make sure. Yeah, just in case. So I was playing basketball by myself, like, just shooting. And and I would... You know, so you know when you like outside of the school. Yeah, yeah. so you you know, <laughs> it's just the plot for Fresh Prince. You know, man. you know when you like Kobe, and then you like R.I.P. and uh, you like watch the ball. Him or that kid? No, no, no. <laughs> just like you know when you shoot the ball and you watch it like yeah, yeah, in yeah. the air, and then like, well, so I did that, and someone while I was watching threw a basketball at my face. Oh, and and so not only like basketballs hurt. hurt yeah. I wasn't expecting it, so it hurt extra. I'm about to and then, on and you. so then I got the ball. I got the ball because it like kind of just fell in my hands, um, and I was like, "Who did that?" And like as soon as I opened my eyes, there was a kid laughing, so I knew it was him. And I just like no hesitation threw it at his face, and it he went boom, and it made the like basketball sound, you know. <laughs> and so it bounced back and it landed in my hand, oh, no. and so like. Instinctively, I was like, "Well, I gotta throw Your it back again." Like, do it, do hey, shoot till you miss. Yeah, so I was like, "Bink, bink," and I just like kept doing it, and it kept bouncing back to me. And why I, didn't he move? I don't. I think he did. That's the thing. I had precision. There's this soccer clip. It's supposed to be like a parody where the goalie keeps on getting hit with the fucking ball for like. Oh my God. There's like penalty kicks. And at the end of it, he's like fucking dead. But they like <laughs> sit him up in a chair. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Somebody yeah. kicks it and still hits him in the face. And yeah. you're like, he's blocking all the shots. He's the best goalie <laughs> in the world. But he's like dead. Like, they have oh killed him. God. I imagine Danny <laughs> like just getting him. like kind of fun with it. It keeps bouncing back to him. So he's like, oh. Yeah, okay. he's doing I start, <laughs> like Harlem Globe. Yeah, I was going to say, start playing the whole that, Harlem Globe. That's how he actually learned to spin the ball on his finger <laughs> was beating this kid <laughs> rel- <laughs> religiously. <laughs> Yeah. They're, they're, well, little do we know that little <laughs> Timothy over here has trauma that he didn't <laughs> realize he had. He, he had, hates so they had a concussion. <laughs> Probably. And you just, like, core memory unlocked. He's like, that motherfucker. He's like, it was him. <laughs> he was a fan of our podcast <laughs> until We're now. Cease and desist <laughs> any moment now. This whole time he's been like, 
have a bad feeling about it. <laughs> <laughs> the iron um, dribbles. Oh, I mean, from like anime to marching bands. You know, I'm going to give you marching bands. You can have it. <laughs> you know, I feel like you I want was it. Marching. So. Yeah, I needed that resolution. Yeah, you, you can you. have it. Yeah. Okay. You know, sports are everywhere. They really I was are. thinking like golf. If nah. we're going to call golf a sport, marching band. Again, is a go sport. do it, though. Huh? Go do it. Well, it's, it's one of the, yeah. It's on Wii Sports. No, I'm telling you, the, the shit so is the shit boring. is not easy though. And neither is marching band. I, I'm not saying it, but <laughs> it it felt like you were trying to say that it's easy in comparison, but no, or maybe not, more boring. But that, that is a easy. Golf is like that is a boring. technical fucking it's sport. It's like the level of like exertion that you have to sporting. I don't know, like if you. There's way more movement in marching band. I guess it just uh, I don't constitute a sport by and how much movement. And you're literally takes holding place. weights the whole time that you're doing stuff I mean, while breathing into the instrument. No, I, I get I, I understand that, but I guess for I me physical know. exertion doesn't equal. And we're back. He me. gave it to no, you. No, I gave it to you. I know. I'm like, I, I know I'm still going at this. I, my bad. I was giving it to you, <laughs> and you just Wait, want me to take it back. I'm like, no. <laughs> this is why it's sport. You win. No, this battle's not over until I say it's over. Start dribbling. So dribbling, <laughs> marching on her on his face. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even tell you guys. Can I tell you guys a proud moment for me? Please do. Did you tell Justin to shut up? Oh, I did. Oh my god! I In did. this moment, you're gonna tell um, us. No, oh. I kicked his ass in fantasy football. Oh, oh my gosh, you did! And I fucking you won. won. You won. This right. is your... I fucking killed our fantasy. Uh, she did. You <laughs> won the whole thing. She won the whole thing. I fucking challenged the, the power thing. of fucking John Cena she, and killed she it. She went from last place to first place in a matter of a season, and I give her all of that credit. That's like a movie. And she it she did so she did so by breaking movie. all Hello, of the Netflix. classic fantasy football rules too, and it was what fucking do great. You mean? Like you never draft heavy from your favorite team. Uh huh. And I she other did. Players too. I but did have just, a good amount she was of cowboy like, players. I have half the cowboys. Yeah, I was about to say half your starting. Lineup was one team. You you drafted heavy Cowboys. She's Cowboys like quarterback. Zach. It was only three. You had, you had CD Lamb. You had Tony Pollard. You had Dak Prescott. You had their defense. Do you want to yeah, counter? Do you want me but to? I had Lamb and Pollard. Like I just there's still Cowboys players you drafted. I'm not arguing I, if you had them or not. I was you say, I drafted them. them as my backup players. In you, case either I, way, so she drafted heavy Cowboys. And, and then it, it just so happened that things fell in place for her. It was great. She won. Fuck it was. She absolutely that won. Shit. You're like the the Cleveland game. Browns of our fantasy league, and then you just took the championship. Yeah, that was, it was crazy. crazy. I, it's fucking insane. Like, I was every okay. week, I was like, God damn, I fucking won. I was, <laughs> I was okay with it happening, and I'm going to call him out, and I hope you see this, but I know you don't, Dion. <laughs> Dion was Tag being him. so like supportive when he's like, yeah, you won the fantasy league. Listen here, motherfucker. I listened to you talk so much shit about how she was going to lose. <laughs> she was going to come in 10th shit. place. <laughs> At least you're not Crystal. <laughs> and yeah. she won. I may, I, she may have beat me for it, but I supported her the entire time. I was like, oh, it's Crystal. Easy week. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was until and she, she kept beating me. He, ass said, ass. he did mention recently, he's like, Crystal, just beat the shit out of someone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, I, I love him to death, but he was absolutely shit talking the entire time until <laughs> Super Bowl week, and all of a sudden he's like, "Yeah, bro, everybody wants Crystal to win." Like, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, you fucking don't. Killed it. All right, so you know, I think we're gonna take our ball and go home at this point. Fuck yeah. Whose yeah. face is getting hit? <laughs> <laughs> Been another great episode. I can't wait for this one to come out and me relive all the trauma of marching band all over again. <laughs> uh, please make sure to follow us on all of our socials that are going to be either somewhere on the screen. Probably down here. Yeah. Uh, nerd if you're that hour. kid that Danny went ham on message us. Oh, Let us yes, know. We will, Tell us the real we will story. Definitely. Let's have a rematch. <laughs> you can smell Danny's things from ball. around the corner now because his nose is so <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but, that does it, guys. Joy <laughs> watching, being here. See you next time. Watch old Peace. episodes. Bye. Peace. Peace. Cowboys.